Incheon International Airport with the airport code ICN is the largest airport in South Korea and one of two airports in Seoul, South Korea. The other airport is Gipul Airport, which will be featured in the future. In this video, we're going to share our visit to this award-winning ICN Airport. It has all the bells and whistles, including a virtual gym, which offers basketball and golf, and a rest area with chain lounges and spa services. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This episode is the Incheon International Airport with the airport code ICN Travel Guide for arriving passengers to Seoul, South Korea. If you plan to visit Seoul, watch this video until the end and hit Big's other videos on Seoul, South Korea. And don't forget to like us. We flew from Seattle to Seoul on Asiana Airlines. Now, normally we don't give out shout outs of airlines, but I have to say the condition of the plane, food and service were outstanding on Asiana. And no, we are not getting paid for that. It was just that good. Once we landed at ICN Airport, we could see how big this airport is. Incheon International Airport was built on reclaimed land between uh, Yongjong and Yongyu Islands. The two islands were originally separated by a sh the shallow sea there. Um, the airport area connects these two islands which make up Cheonggyu, which is about 48 kilometers or 30 miles west of Seoul. Incheon International Airport was uh, built to support Gimpo Airport after the Olympics in 1988 because of the growing traffic. But now, um, ICN has become the major airport for the Seoul region with over 111 boarding gates. ICN has two terminals, Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. There's a free shuttle bus that you can take at the transportation center um, after baggage claim in order to get from one to the other. Okay, we could also this stand by please. Change the side mode to the once we've disembarked our plane, we follow the signs for baggage claim and immigration. The signs were in Korean, English, and Chinese. Thank you. You can see from the disembarking ramp um, out into the airport, you can see how huge it is, even from there. The wonderful thing about this airport um, is that it is full of full-length windows and so it just makes it look airy and you can see um, a lot of the outside it just doesn't feel like so enclosed. Uh, we continue to walk down um, our path to baggage claim and immigration. Uh, you can help, you can't but help but notice the graphic displays along the uh, walls. Um, there's also automatic sidewalks and even trams to guide people to their destination. Since this airport is so large, we did have to walk away, uh, walk a bit, and then we entered finally into the immigration area, which is pretty fast and efficient. And as uh, many airports in Asia, there's one section for foreigners and one section for nationals. <laughs> Once we finish with immigration, we follow the signs to baggage claim. 
we took an escalator uh, downstairs and then once we got our bags uh, we did want to exchange some cash there are many exchange uh, exchange counters and ATM machines inside and outside baggage claim and also in the terminal too they all seem to give the same rate they're pretty close and most of the exchange counters are uh, from big banks in Korea like Wuri, Hana, and Shinhan. Once we ex exited baggage claim, uh, we went into the arrival hall and there you'll find restaurants and uh, ATMs and currency exchange and uh, gift stores and a host of other uh, stalls in the very back near the doors. Um, that will make your travel to Korea easier. Something that will make your life easier here um, is the SIM card room. Here you can buy SIM cards or a Wi-Fi rentals as well. Um, now we didn't need one but it is definitely will make life easier in Korea and Seoul is a really um, advanced country in terms of technology so and they have truly have true 5G so the data is fast. We continued outside uh, to ground transportation. You can catch a taxi by crossing the street to the next island and bus stops to various places in the city are right outside the doors of the arrival hall. I have to say that ICN has the best organized bus uh, aka also bus limousine service I've ever seen in any airport. Bus routes have their own um, stands and you just have to buy tickets at the bus ticket counter and then you can go to your route stand and wait for the bus to arrive. You can purchase tickets and get information at the bus ticket offices indoor next to exits 4 and 9 and outdoor near exits 4, 6, 7, 8, 11, and 13 and on the first floor of passenger terminal 1. You can also buy tickets at the ticket uh, bus ticket vending machines located near the bus stops and outside the ticket counters. There's also the airport railroad, also known as AREX, which will also take you into Seoul. Please check out our video titled Directions from Incheon Airport Terminals to Airport Express Station REX for detailed info on uh, from our this channel or hipnic.com. Bus route to Gangnam is 6,000, to Seoul Station is 6,001, to Dongdaemun or DDP is 6,701, and Chamsil is 6,703. Bus prices are determined by distance. The drive will take realistically about an hour and a half or more depending on traffic. There's also a late night bus which goes to Gangnam, Jansu, Dongdaemun, and Seoul Station after midnight until 4 a.m. All require a transportation card. Please check on the Incheon Airport website for more detailed information. We walked to our hotel pickup point at the far right end of Terminal 2 and off we went. Happy travels! Go to hitfig.com for more information or watch our other videos on the Hit Big Travel Channel on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe.